All right, let's pretend I am a business owner and there's two agencies that are trying to resell me Go High Level. The first agency's website looks like this. And then the second agency that is trying to sell me High Level, their website looks like this. Let's give it a quick look. Now, the question is, as a business, which of these two agencies would I choose to work with based on their website? Now, the answer is very obvious to me, and it is this one right here. And the reason why is I'll break down in just a sec. Now, the thing is, most go high level agencies trying to resell high level have websites that look like this. This video is going to help you if you are a GHL SaaS agency and you have a website that looks like this. It's kind of boring, it's clunky, it's not getting you any clients. And when you send over to prospects, they are not really impressed and they can't seem to understand how exactly you can help them and instead be able to show them a website that looks like this, which will definitely be able to give them a better idea as to what you can do. And it displays the power of Go High Level and what your SaaS company can do for your clients. If you're new, my name is Rico and I run a Go High Level website agency. I help businesses that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. Today, I wanted to just show you how I built this Go High Level website for SaaS agencies, kind of what my thought process was, where I took those key strategic decisions in terms of the design, kind of what web websites I modeled this website after and also how you can take your current go high level websites to look a bit more professional. All right. So the first thing that I want you to take a look at is this main section right here. What I see is that there's a lot of things going on. There's first of all, a lot of links. I see social media links right here. I see email. I see phone number here. This navigation bar is a little bit clunky. There's too many colors and this button is kind of hard to see. The main headline or tagline is hard to understand. So if I was a business owner, if I saw a website with a headline that looks like this enhance your business with the power of AI with our all in one marketing solution, blah, 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 blah. It's a little bit too confusing. It is not conveying anything of value to me as a business owner, as somebody that runs a business and might not know too much about AI or SaaS or any of these terms. If you compare this to this website right here, the first thing that catches my attention is that there's this thing that moves right here, which kind of tells me who they help. So I see that they help service based businesses, coaches, consultants, and so on. And the value prop is very clear. It says, grow your business from one place. The goal with web design is to do something that is memorable, that stands out, and that it makes it easy for prospects to know what you do, how you do it, and how they can contact you or how they can buy your product. This effect, I modeled it after this other SaaS. You see that they have this cool rotating text here as well. So I noticed that a lot of SaaS companies has that, which is why we implemented it in our own website. But as you see, that's kind of like the first effect. Now, if we go back to this website right here, you see that this is a little bit too default. The images are not really speaking too much. The language and how they present themselves is just like 90% of all of the other websites out there. So it's not really too unique or speaking to me as a business owner. None of this means anything to me. And I just see them as like, okay, yeah, they do something to do with technology, but I do not know exactly how this software or this agency can help me solve my problem. So you see very boring. They really didn't convince me or make it clear as to why they are the right solution for me. Now, if I take a look at this website right here, here, instead of saying AI powered, blah, 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 solutions. Here I see that it says scale your business easily, run your business from one place. Instead of when I present the features saying the feature itself, like in this case would be missed called text bug. And in this case would be funnel and website editor. I attack the pain point of the business owner. So avoid losing sales while you're away, make your website in just three clicks. So as a business owner, I may not have any idea what a missed called text bug AI powered bot is or care too much about like a website slash funnel builder. But what I do care is that I don't want to lose any sales when I am away and I want to make it easy for myself to make a website. And in this case, it seems like I can do so in just three clicks. The second effect that I wanted to show you is how this button has like a light gradient, dark blue to a uh, light blue. That's kind of what I saw on this SaaS company as well. Like they have a light gradient right here. If you look at Instant Lease website right here, you see that they have something similar. They have a gradient right here. Again, their main value prop is very clear as well. Now, something else that I want to show you is that on their headlines, they're making a few words clear. And the way that they make this is that they add a gradient of color to that. And that's kind of what we did as well. So let me just go back to our website side, you see that when I scroll down, here it says scale your business easily. So there's this light gradient. We also added that in other places and I'll show you just in a little bit. I see that there's a few different features, but something cool is that as I hover my mouse, there's this blue gradient that kind of appears. So it directs my attention to that specific feature. Another cool thing that I noticed is that there's this bar right here, kind of like a frosted glass type of navigation bar. That effect we saw on this website right here. You see that this bar right here is kind of like the frosted glass type of effect, making the background 
background a little bit blurry, which is the same thing that we implemented right here. Now, something else, instead of saying we have invoices, payments, contracts, and so on. We just speak in terms that the prospect understands. So get paid without hassle in just four clicks. And I display the interface of high level in a way that's easy to consume, in a way that looks beautiful, and in a way that the prospect is going to understand. Now here I use a language that the prospect will understand as well. So all your communication in one place and I lead with a question. So tired of juggling different platforms to talk to clients, reply to all of your messages from one place. Everything that we're showing, we're supporting this claim that we made here in the beginning, which is grow your business from one place. When we take a look at this website again, you see that there's not really any problem that they're solving. It just says a bunch of different words, but they're not targeting a specific problem that myself as a business owner might have. Now I see that this is kind of cool, kind of intriguing. I see that there's this nice effect as well. As I scroll down here, I see that it says connect with all of the other tools you're already using. And it has this cool effect where the logos are moving from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. I also see that the way that they've presented this right here is very, very beautiful. Now something subtle that my brother and I added is that we added this kind of border around this plan right here because we want to make it so that subconsciously users sign up to this page right here. So even though it looks a little bit cheaper, it's for the annual. So it's going to be a higher order value. And then last, we added some FAQs here. So in case the prospect still has a few questions, they can get those questions answered right here. So basically what my brother and I did for this website is we took a look at websites that other people were doing and then kind of integrate that into our own Go High Level website. Now, I see some people talk about how the Go High Level website editor is not good or they can't build websites that look beautiful on Go High Level. I just took you through this website, which my brother and I built entirely on Go High Level. All of the effects, everything that you see on the screen, we did on Go High Level. And I'm going to show you right now in case you don't believe me yet. All right, so you see that I am on the Go High Level website editor. All of the effects, everything that I just show you, we built here. So for instance, you see the moving words right here. You also see that when I hover my mouse over each of the different tiles right here, we added that gradient section as well. When I hover my mouse over each of the different images, they become a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit more interactive, more engaging. If you want to get a copy of this website with all of the effects that I show you already done for you, it's ideal for DHL SaaS agencies and you want to elevate the online presence of your business, click the link in the description and get your own copy. A website for a SaaS business, kind of like what I show you right now, would cost upwards of two, three, even $5,000, but you can get it for just a fraction of the cost. So click the link in the description and get your own copy. If you already have a copy of my Notion doc, all of the effects that I just show you on this video, I've already added tutorials. So you can literally go to the specific page and implement them yourself. But with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.